Welcome to the Craftwell Design Team eBrush. Brushing on silk with eBrush using Spectrum Noir markers. Today what we're going to do is we're going to use Spectrum Noir markers and I'm going to show you how to paint on silk. And I have a wonderful time with it. So let's get started. Pan out. I hope that you're enjoying your eBrush and I would love very much for you to leave feedback. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video and tell me what, what you would like to see more of with your eBrush. So let's get started. I'm going to move the unit to the side. Very, very light unit. Love it. I have already um, done some painting on my silk and you'll see that I have um, this works wonderful and I'll tell you my technique um, these this particular silk is from Dharma Trading and it was just a, a practice piece but I love what it does and so I've already I, sp I sprayed in my background and then I wet it with alcohol to give it that uh, watercolor effect and now what I'm doing is I'm giving it just the, the hint of some butterflies and I'm going to use my e-brush to render those and so you'll notice let's push this up a little bit and I want to give it a beautiful butterfly right here because it's going to be my my butterfly enjoyment um, remember too when you go to put your collar on I'm going to bring this up for you you'll notice that there is a seam right here on your brush you take your uh, collar put it on where the triangle aligns with the seam you're going to press it in and then just turn and there it is. Now I know that some of you have told me that you've had some difficulty with placing the markers in the adapter and so let's see if we can address that right now. I'm going to pull out, let's see, I'll do a beautiful lavender. Okay, with your Spectrum Noir, I think the problem that many of you are having, you're telling me that it's too tight, that you can't get it in, I think it's the, um, the cushion grip that's getting us and so just see if that might be it. Take your Spectrum Noir, you're going to put it in, and you see it's even tight for me. See, I'm having a rough time with it. So I'm going to take my hands, hold it. Maybe if you put a little bit of powder on here, but once I get it through there, I can push it in. I've got to look for my alignment, and I notice that it's a little bit off. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's just tilted a little bit, and I always use uh, some scrap paper to get it going, but let's see. I'll use my little nose pliers. This is very very gentle. These are the only markers you have to do that with because of the barrel. But You just give it a little twist, just a little one like that to get it to fit. Now the first thing I'm going to do is do a test spray to see. and uh, It looks pretty aligned up but I still want to see. I want that nib to be right in that flow so let's try it and see what we've got. I'm going to set it all the way to the highest. Oh, very nice. <laughs> really cool. So let me bring it down some. And what I'm going to do is place my hand on the stencil. And I'm going to just give it a nice spray. And I don't really care that it's going over because it's going to be my hint of a butterfly. Now what I'm going to do is, because I do want to have a little bit of a shadow, I always turn mine off when I go. Always check your markers too to see if you have any ink on it. Put my cap back on. I'm going to see if I can hit it with just a little bit of maybe a teal, I believe, to go on top of it. Let's see. Well, this might work. And so I'm just going to offset it just a little bit. And I do love these markers. So we'll go back in. Again, I'm going to take the marker, place it in, and I'm going to tell you, I think it is that plastic collar. Once you get them going in, it's going to work fine. Put your scrap paper down again. Give it a little shot. Oh, that worked terrific too. I'm going to offset it just a little bit, just, just a little bit, just to have the white show. Then I'm going to go just on the edge keep my thumb over this so I don't spray it just like this I 
And let's see what we have. There we go. Oh, she's looking beautiful. She is looking beautiful. And after they dry, I will iron them and uh, they'll stay on. Let's do another butterfly. I have more fun with this and I really I'm going to beg you if you have difficulties or if you just want to share please join us on our Facebook page we have a Facebook group by the way it's uh, eBrushing by Craftwell see how, see how I got a little bit of uh, color on this it's as simple as just taking a paper towel and getting that off so that it doesn't infiltrate the color so let's go back and do a red butterfly. Make sure that it's nice. It might be off a little bit in alignment. Now since I did use these before in another color, I'm just going to grab it in another place and give it just a little twist. There we go. Let's see how we look here. I like that too. Wow, we we're hitting on a hundred. Pull my scrap paper off. And let's see which one I'll use. I think I'm going to give this one just a little twist to this side. I love using these stencils. This one's going to be, let me pull my silk a little bit tighter. Now I'm not using spray adhesive with these because this is, I have a painterly piece here so I don't really need to. Let me kick up the speed a little bit. Now with this one, you'll notice I'm just going to do the edges. So I'm just going on the edge of the stencil. That's all I'm doing, just the edge. It's going to give us a different effect. So let's see what we have. There we go. I just want the hint of the butterflies running through. Let's see. Pick some, another pretty color to use. Ah. Let's try a little fluorescent looking, a little fluorescent green. Or maybe maybe a little fluorescent orange, orange, the fluorescent orange I think would be really cool. Again, I'm going to share with you some of the wonderful little uh, techniques that I use as well for some fine art drawing and show you how to use a photo or a paint enhancement program to get your piece ready to be airbrushed or e-brushed as we call it, e-brushed. You're going to really enjoy this. I've got another pair of pliers here because the other ones I haven't been wiped yet. I'm just going to twist it just a little bit so that it's in the air strength on. I think that'll work. And again, give it a test. See how it works. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm hitting on 100. I'm really happy with this. I love these Spectrum Norse. They are wonderful, wonderful markers. Let's see. Where should we place this butterfly? Actually, I think I'm going to put her really close to the previous one. Just pull it down a little bit. And as I said, it's all it's all painterly and fun. In fact, let me bring up the air a little bit. Okay. Let's see what we've got going here. Oh, beautiful. And again, I take the um, paper towel and just wipe off where there's a little bit of other color on here. And see, it comes off real readily. These Spectrum Nors are wonderful, and there's so many colors in the family that you can use. I find they work terrific with, it, with my e-brush. And then what we would do is we would go back and Look and see if we're satisfied. And I think that I look like I have, ooh, I may want to put just a, an edge of a butterfly. Let's see. Oh, no. She looks really good so far. I don't know if I really want to add a lot more to her, but she just looks like she's missing a little something. I, I don't want to mess up my brows. Let's see. We're going to go back. I'll take this butterfly. I'm going to put her right up here on the corner. And let's see. Oh, I'd like to take a green, a bright green. 
And don't worry, you can always put down a pattern weight to hold it. Put my break ring in. Again, turn on my brush. This one looks like it's well adjusted. Ah. I am loving this. I will share with you some other pieces as well. What I like about this one is it's going to really pop out because it's dark. But see, I'm just following the edge of the stencil. Because I don't want to lose all my color changes. And the wonderful thing about these Spectrum Noirs are they very transparent as well. Turn off my e-brush, put it back on its holder. I love that magnetic holder. Slide it in, and let's see what we have here. Ah. So I'm quite happy with that. Beautiful. My butterfly garden looks really, really great. Nice little silk scarf. And again, what I'll do, oh, look at this. Then underneath, I have this beautiful work that I can use for another project. Over here, place it on the back just to, and I'm not, I'm just going on the edge of the stencil. And then check this out. See, it gives us a little bit more definition to our flower. So, beautiful, beautiful. I love my e brush. And I love Spectrum Noir markers. They work really, really great. Don't be afraid to get in there and really give it some color. And maybe make some little changes to it. I hope you like our video. Again, we will be working in correspondence with our page. I'll be posting projects to show you what we will be previewing on the channel and then I look for your suggestions too. Please join us on Facebook. It's eBrush by Craftwell and do like the video and, and leave me comments please and if I can be of any help to you please just leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for joining us and I hope that you enjoy your wonderful eBrush. It's a great tool. I'll be showing you additional markers that you can use in it besides the wonderful Spectrum Noir. I'll be showing you about Tombows, about Copics, about Sharpies. So we have a lot of markers to play with. I will even be doing some cake decorating. We'll do some, some cupcakes. And I'm also going to be looking for guest uh, artists that would like to participate. So. Get your work going and give me a little drop of a note and I'll be happy to see what we can do. Thank you very much again for joining us this evening. Goodbye.